Hey guys, back in the guitar lesson kick. Uh, somebody asked me to show them how to play Runaway. So, I will do my best with my very limited vocabulary for um, music theory and whatnot. But you can see where my hands go. I can make the correct chord formations and you can figure it out, all right? Um, capo on the second fret, tuning standard. So you got an F sharp situation here. Um, basically, the top of the song. That whole thing. I'm playing octaves, so... That is uh, five, seven, nine. Ninth fret, starting on the ninth fret on the fifth string. And then the octave of that. On the third string, eleventh fret. And what you're doing here is you're using your first finger to mute the fourth string. So you got this sound. So when you play your strum all the way through. Right? You're going to slide that up a whole step. Still muting the fourth string. So you're doing the slide, you're moving the whole thing down to the 6th string and the 4th string. So you went from the 5th and the 3rd to the 6th the and the 4th. And in this position, you're muting the 3rd string with your 3rd finger, so actually both, huh? basically playing four strings at that point. So you're just going... So, ninth fret, seventh fret, sixth fret, down to the E position, which in this situation is an F sharp. So, the right hand is doing a lot of work here, so you have to make sure that you're getting the right up and down motion, and I'll play it as slow as I can so you can dissect it. That's the top of the song, and that's the end, and that's the middle. It happens all over the place, as you know, if you have the recording of that song. So, anytime it goes to that, you know what you're doing now. So, um, next step, the verses. Go away and hide your eyes. Just an E and A. Well, let's say E and A for this situation, so that you know I'm talking about F sharp, but the chord positions. So, E. play not the full A I very rarely will ever play that A on any song so if I'm playing A it's generally this which is just the fourth string and third string on the fourth fret so lay it down
Those of you guys don't know what that means, the head is the top of the song. So, um, in the second verse, a lot like the first, lay it down your heart, to the chorus. This position you're playing, I, I use this on so many songs. Um, usually I, I learned it in just a straight up E formation. So you're playing E position there. Up here it's. first finger, your third finger, and your fourth finger, your pinky. So, you got the Clapton F.U. Clapton does this a lot, and, I, and I'm like, how does he flick off the crowd all the time? But learned he really wasn't doing that. So, anyway, you got this E, and you drop your first finger down. Third day special. Right? So. Run away. You're just walking this chord down. Same position. Except for here. Leave these guys where they are. That's your third day special, but that's not my song. Sorry. Here you go. So, run away, You're going to this position. Technically, it's a D, probably D minor, but it's you're just taking this E that you're sliding all over the place. Fifth string started there. That's the turnaround that sounds all minory at the end of the chorus. it when I'm not playing it in context. So that's the turnaround. That happens again on the bridge. You got another verse, another chorus, then you got the bridge. Run song you got the ending because you got the the last verse um, the last part of the chorus has this
much really on piano, but I play on guitar now. So it's just... Sometimes I put master puppets in the middle of that song. Sometimes people get it, sometimes they don't. Anyway, hope that helped. Have yourself a good time with this song. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll get back to you. See ya.